Well, hello, hello, hello. Hey, how are we doing today? Man, it is exciting. We already know out in Louisiana, man, it is really, really, really hot. Um, I'm just excited to be able to uh, come to you all. Uh, you may be out in the field. Uh, we know entrepreneurs, we're always trying to pull out some little niches and different things and I found out that being an entrepreneur, guess what? You have to continue to educate yourself if you want to be up on the up on things and to be in the top of uh, being successful in your fields of different things. Uh, uh, you all that have different fields as being an entrepreneur or being a leader, there's different things that you have to have a uh, knowledge about different things you have to have a know about uh, and I'm always taking some of the uh, things that I have learned uh, to allow my coast of my momentum which is my channel daily momentum and that's how I come up with the momentums uh, trying to get it in myself each and every day uh, it takes that being an entrepreneur you need momentum in your day uh, because there's no one around you there is no one uh, give you a pep talk and with cheerleaders like football players have and basketball players have you have all these cheerleaders root you on and get you started you there by your own lonesome selves isn't that amazing and leaders too as well uh, people that are in ministry we always by ourselves and I just thought that was a very, very thing that God worked with a lot of people in the Bible when he worked with them by themselves, trying to be able to uh, get them to take a lead, to take position in your lifestyle, in your field, and what you need, he wants you to become a. And so I actually feel like that God has gave me uh, some knowledge or study to help each one up and to pull one up. Because uh, someone's pulled me up and I'm just asking my audience that I'm trying to help pull you up into the entrepreneur or your leader style to keep you uh, just keeping that momentum going. So, man, it, it's been a great road. I, I'm hoping you all excited and you fell into some things that you enjoy and like doing. I'm hoping because it is a very hard and bitter life. If you are on someone's job or you are doing something that you're not really comfortable about, which we all have to come to that point. I've been to that point where I worked on different jobs, but first thing that I did do is I did not just give them anything. And so it's when you are out on a job working for someone, you give them your best. You do everything you have to do. And so, because what this doing is helping you to be able to um, educate yourself, build your character up, build a mentality up. And so, when I went on jobs, and there's plenty of jobs, I started off from just being a janitor, just cleaning up behind people. And so, I went and I did the best that I possibly and beyond that much. And so that I can be able to equip some of the things that I needed to do down the line for me being an entrepreneur. And I felt like God wanted me to, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, excuse me, to do that. I gave my very best and represent uh, an image for God in my lifestyle of working for someone. And so, and a lot of things I learned from that. I learned how to better clean different things. I took the lead in not always having someone to tell me what to do all the time. I, if I seen it need to be done, I went and did it. You know, not if I seen a piece of paper on the ground and it was around there, I picked it up because if I want someone to work for me, I would want them to do the same thing, the same that, same character and self-esteem of caring about my business but a lot of times people do not care about your stuff unless they got some skin in the game and so that would be a whole nother topic 
really, really uh, to talk about. I would just love to dive in that, but I don't want to throw off the audience and throw you off because I just thank you all for just taking time out to just come and to uh, subscribe to me, try to and to like my channel. I really appreciate it. And I'm giving you some nice tips, different things, and just take you along in the journey that I've been going on. And I know that it's complicated. I know it's hard. I know it's discouraging. and you by yourself all the time. You ain't got nobody to pump you up and pep you up. And so in the scriptures, uh, God gave David the power and the knowledge to know that he had to encourage himself. So a lot of times you have to encourage yourself and uh, put things out to help you along the way. So a lot of things I did, I went and I took some knowledge and reading different things. Of course, yes, I do. I read the Bible and I do. But sometimes God opens your eyes to help you to see other things that can help you along the way with your career, with your things, because God wants you to be successful, you know. God wants you to teach other people these things, you know. So when we are learning these different things, I don't want to just come in here and you think I'm brand new, that I haven't had any failures, I haven't had any bad things go on or did any wrongful things. Hey, I've been through all of that. So I'm just trying to be a natural person just like anyone else. And so the ones that are thinking that they can't make it, that I did this and I can't do this and I'm too old and I'm too young and, and I don't deal to fit this apart, you know, pray on these things. But what I want to do is equip you with some knowledge of some of the things that I have learned. Uh, I've been reading this book. Uh, I don't know if you all have heard of this book, but this book is about the road to your best stuff. Uh, take your career, business, or causes to the next level and beyond. And so this author, Mike Williams, who actually helped Les Brown out, got him to be able to uh, be the um, motivation speaker, um, you know, uh, uh, number one speaker around this world. You know, people know Les Brown. Les Brown is a very popular guy. He been on some different things, uh, things in his life, and he had to help someone mentor him to get him to the level that he has. So, what better thing to read is from a person, uh, Mike Williams, that I really enjoy his his stuff. If you can see his picture, I'm hoping that you all can see it, Mike Williams. And you may can zoom and, and look down. But Mike Lee is a very uh, bright guy. And I don't know if he has succeeded to the way of uh, Les Brown and made these millions of dollars. But God used him as a mentor for Les Brown and to help him to get to the point that he won. So a lot of times people use, God uses people to help raise people to that next level. But if you take these information and apply it to your life. Don't just do it one day and then say, oh, it ain't working, it ain't working. A lot of this information does work if you take it and you do it consistently. Not with ease, not with ease to keep on taking a break and say, I'm gonna take a break. This ain't college, you know, where you say, hey, I'm gonna take a skip and a leave. You know, you have to continue educating yourself each and every day. And I usually take myself back to school. And some of these things that I have learned, and the reason why I'm coming with this, because I'm trying to get the audience to be able to understand that you have to educate yourself, read, find some books that are that are help you along the way. They may interest you. They may help just open up your mind, your horizon, your mind to help you understand about being a better leader being a better entrepreneur and all the time you don't need to know about some of the niches but some things some people did you know different things that they did to help them along them ways that you have to be consistent about you know it's waking up early in the morning scheduling yourself trying to fit all these things and not 
messing around and follow your list that you put down that I have drilled into you all numerous of time. You have to write down these things. Write them down what, you, what your day going to be like tomorrow. Tomorrow, take time. I, if I was you, I would just pause the video and say, let me, this is a tip that I need to take. This is a bonus tip. Take your time. If whatever you got to do tomorrow, write these things down. Make your list out of the things that you've done. Say, I need to get this done. I don't need to be on Facebook. I don't need to be on uh, Instagram uh, unless you're posting something or on YouTube. So uh, take time to uh, subscribe and like my channel of this information so you'll know the information that I'm trying to get you. But these are things that you have to do to be able to be a better leader and to be able to be a better entrepreneur you have to be consistent by educating yourself learning when you say oh man i don't want to go through that well and how are you going to be able to acknowledge and to help knowledge the people uh to be better leaders to be better knowledge people want to you're going to get to know these different things some things i had to go back i had to kiss myself and i said hey i do vending i've been doing vending but i kind of stopped and i've been focused on my distributing and stuff that when people ask me about vending stuff, sometimes I have to go back and reiterate stuff. So I say, I got to fit this into my day so I can be able to be educated on what is new, what's old. Some of the stuff that I forgot that was old about different things that setting up coin mix and bill acceptors, these different things that I needed to educate myself. So if I have to do it, of course you're going to have to do it. And so, uh, these are the things that you need to do and I just use this book as an example to help you out that you need to be able to take some of the examples of some of these successful people that have applied some of these general rules and different things in their life to help them become better people. You know, I remember one time my pastor, and it, this may not have been his quote, which probably wasn't, but he used his quote, he said, Quitters never win, and winners never quit. And I thought, to, wait a minute, whoa, whoa, I like that. And I began to add that quote into me, and to be able. And a lot of you people need motivation in your life to keep you going, to keep something going into your lifestyle, so you can be able to get things done. So sometimes you need to catch somebody who you may know, or somebody who you like listening to. Plug up your ears like you can do right now as I'm talking. Plug it in your ears. Sit back and just listen to some of the education that people can be able to give you to uh, help you along the way on your journey, on your trails. And so here I, I am taking out time to be able to educate people because I want to be able to pull somebody up to help them along the way with education and say, hey, focus on this. Focus on this. Focus on this. Don't pass this up. This is beginner stuff. This is beginner stuff. Write down the stuff before the day ahead that you need to get stuff done. Uh, wake up early uh, so you can be able to get most of the stuff done. If you know you're busy, you're going to have to get up early. I'm sorry to break the bad news to you, but you're going to have to get up early. You're going to have to let that bed go, and you're going to start going to bed early. And some of the things that you have to do, I mean, I enjoy watching movies and watching TV and watching sports and stuff, but sometimes I have to click all that stuff off because I knew I have something that I need to get done and I need to be fully rested and, and have a bright day that day. I got to be able to get some rest. And so these are things that you need to do uh, to be able to allow the road to your best stuff or either take your career, business, uh, cars to the next level. Some of these things, if you want to get to that next level, you're going to need to be consistent about things that need to be done for your business, things to be done for people that you are being leaders of or, or, or a manager, different things. And I've been all them things, and I watch and I understand and learn about employees and, and what people want. And like I use quotes a lot that I got from someone else. Sometimes you're going to have to give the employees what they want so they can be able to give you what you want. And then not the up greed that I'm talking about, but things that is going to help you along the way. Some of y'all need employees, but you figure, 
Oh, well, I ain't giving up all my money. In order for you to be able to grow, you can't do the business by yourself. You got to add some employees or some contractors or someone to come along throughout the day to help you so you can delegate some of that stuff out so you can be able to climb that ladder to grow your business. And so it's exciting to be able to come and to talk with you all. But I want to just share some of the things that I learned from this book. And you say, oh, come on, man. Show us. Tell us what you got in the book, man. Okay, here we go. Some of the things that got in the book, and like I said, Mike Williams, the author, wrote this book. He helped Les Miles and mentor Les, I mean, Les Brown. I'm saying Les Miles because I'm thinking about LSU coach he used to be, but Les Brown. Uh, um, and so here we go. It says, examine who you are, what you want in your life, and why. Actively Explore and get to know yourself in most practical ways below the surface and beyond the opposite. So sometimes we got to take a step back and to be able to understand what do we want in life. We have to examine ourselves, examine yourself, figure out what you need to be able to do to travel this road on where you need to go. And not only that, a number one thing you have to do is pray about the situation. God, what, 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 what is my purpose? What is my journey that I need to go? Sometimes there's things you are doing each and every day in your life, each day that um, God already has it for your purpose, but you just think that it's not important. And that's what a lot of times we don't get further into our lives because we don't think our things that we do are important, but it make a main important role is think about it. It is something that God has equipped you with, and that is a talent that God gave to you. And uh, some things you are good, you think it's not important, but it could be important to help somebody else along the way, to help pull them up to be able to be the man or the woman or the male figure or woman figure in their life so they can be able to get to that point. And so that's why I want to take our time to share some of the things that people have taught me some of the readings that to let you know that it's important to read, read and educate yourself. There is no law. I guess you said, well, I went through all kinds and I thought I was going to be able to uh, start leave all this stuff in school alone. Bum, bum. You got to continue educating yourself. You got to continue reviving yourself, upgrading yourself. Why do you think they keep doing computers like this? Here's a computer right here. I have to update that computer um, and make sure that it has the, the versions in it, the different softwares that need to go on in it, because they need to keep up with our, everything else. So we have to do that with ourselves. And so examine who you are, what you want in life, and why. Not only that, know your field. Learn the requirements for getting into and succeeding in your fields. Some people want to be leaders. Some people want to cut hair. Some people want to be beauty. Some people want to dance. Some people want to sing. Uh, different things that you want to, uh, to do to succeed in your field. You have to pursue it, planning it. And so, I mean, this book has so many things that I have learned from it. Talent skills does not guarantee success, but it is possible that the best place to invest to ensure your great chance. So this is a lot of great tips that I have learned from this guy that helped me along the way to help me to be able to think. I mean, it has all kinds of different things. Determine who will help meet your needs. Sometimes you're going to need people beside you that's going to be able to help you and say, hey, I need to get this done. I need somebody to work with. Sometimes it may take that, you know. Uh, so a lot of times they don't require that because if you're getting busy with someone else, and a lot of times people have gotten mad with each other in business, and then guess what? The business has to fall apart. I mean, because of that. So sometimes you have to... Uh, be able to distinct that what is best for your business and uh, keeping it running and so 
I have learned a lot of different things from this book, uh, a lot of different things that I have learned. A lot of people has to know too about process, product, and people. I actually made a video about that. Uh, people, process, and product. Uh, different things that we need to, uh, I think Marcus Lamar uh, come up with this significant process product and people because you're going to need a process first before you get your business going on when you're getting these different things and not only that you're going to need a product whatever you are trying to sell whatever you are trying to get into a field you're trying to do if it's just speaking and talking you know you need to have that together and people you're going to need some people now, when I ain't just talking about somebody working side, but you're going to need people influences. You're going to need people that you're going to need to have a good customer service. You can't just be talking to crazy to people and saying anything because you own a business. And so you're just going to do everything. And I have seen people own business and they'd be, the, they'd be the first one to park in the front of the building and park there in front of the building because they feel like they are a business. Some of you people even want to put their faces on cards and, and logos and things and nobody even knows them. So a lot of times in order for you to become that figure, you have to allow people to know you have to be an influencer, uh, someone that's going to know you. And so then your face will know, be a brand. And sometimes you're not even a brand. And so the first thing you want to do is take up everything, the information, that you want to talk about your business, you're just showing your face. And like that gives someone an uh, illustration of you or what you run it. I'm looking at it and say, oh, they just took a picture of themselves. I, I, all these little words about what they do is small. I can't see that. You know, and you know, especially if it's off the highway, off his own something uh, in front of their building, I just see a picture of them. You know, so they want people to see that they own the business. So, main thing that you want to be able to uh, own a business, you want to be able to let that image or that different thing of people knowing who you are, what you bring to the table, uh, what you're selling. That's what they need to know, you know. So uh, thank you all for joining. I know this was a nice long video, but I just wanted to be able to share some of the things to uh, help you along the way to let you know that you got to read and educate yourself and be an entrepreneur. Thank you all for just joining me. I appreciate it. Hey, take time out to subscribe to my video because I got some good stuff coming. I got some good stuff. And in order for you to be able to get this information, guess what? You're going to have to subscribe. So thank you all. I appreciate it. You all have a wonderful day. And stay cool. Uh, enjoy life. Be successful. Take some of these tips, write them down, and learn from them. Uh, just comment on the bottom down there, and then maybe I can answer some of your questions or things that you are uh, wanting to get understanding about, or that you just want me to talk about. And say, hey, what is this in the background that you got back here? What do you sell that stuff or whatever? You know, a lot of people are curious about some of the things that I'm interested in. So, hey, I'm here to uh, let you know. So, enjoy your day. Goodbye, you have a good one.